Welcome to another Friday video everyone and another entry to the Fish Food Friday series. Today we're talking about a food that a lot of my fish have really taken well to and that is fruit flies, more specifically the wingless variety. So one of my main goals in my aquarium keeping has been to emulate nature as closely as possible for my fish. To that end, I recently started feeding fruit flies and the results have really been great. One of the biggest benefits to feeding something like fruit flies is that you can witness a more natural feeding behavior from your fish. This was especially true when it came to my hatchet fish, which seemed to feed a little more aggressively when stimulated by the movement of the flies on the water surface. If you have small fish that like to stay near the water surface or come up to the top of the tank to feed, chances are they will appreciate some fruit flies in their diet. All of my tetras, my cichlids, and even my guppies love getting this treat. Another benefit to feeding fruit flies, especially in a closed system or paludarian type setting, is that if any survive the initial feeding, the fish can snack on them as they venture near the water throughout the day. And since the flies are wingless, you don't have to worry about them flying around your house should any happen to escape. Now culturing fruit flies can be relatively easy. First thing you want to find is someone offering a starter culture to get you going though. I got mine from Josh's Frogs since they also sell convenient packs of all the supplies you need to make new cultures as time goes on. A good fruit fly culture will consist of a container with ventilation that the flies, of course, cannot escape from. Media for the larvae to live in and feed from. And material for the flies to walk on. Usually a culture will last anywhere from about four to six weeks. And to start a new culture, all you need to do is reassemble all your supplies and drop a few flies from an existing culture into the new culture and things will take off from there. And from anywhere from about a week and a half to two weeks time, depending on the temperature the flies are kept at, you should have enough new flies to start feeding from. Now in order to make sure your fish have a well-rounded diet, I would only recommend feeding them flies as a treat. I give flies to my fish at most twice a week in between feedings of pellets or flake and frozen foods. Well that's going to do it for this Friday's video, hope you all enjoyed. I definitely recommend fruit flies as a nice treat for a lot of your surface feeding fish. As you can tell from mine, they really love it, and I really love feeding them. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Friday video.